Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on false professing. In Matthew 7:21 we read that not everyone who says to me lot lot will enter the kingdom of heaven but one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. These words find their place in the concluding remarks of the great sermon on the mount. This verse confirms that there is a place called heaven and those who do the will of God will enter there. Jesus seems to be suggesting that many who are thinking that they are on board to heaven may get disappointed. Jesus speaks about the religious people who are duped into a false sense of security thinking that they have a direct entry to heaven while in reality their destiny is not different from non-believers our entry to heaven is not based on our religious activities but is truly depending on the question if we are doing the will of god professing is one thing and practicing what we profess is entirely another thing not everyone in the verse indicates that some of those jesus is talking about our true believers the declaration of lord lord is genuine because it comes from their regenerated hearts they seems to be self deceived brought into a kind of thinking that they have become the citizens of the kingdom of god whereas in reality they still belong to the kingdom of darkness and are under the power of sin and satan they may have god's name in their mouth but rebellion is witnessed in their lives in matthew 7:22 and 23 we read as many will say to me on the day lord lord did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles then i will tell them plainly i never knew you away from me you evil doers these are told about those who base their works in the name of jesus who pray and heal in the name of jesus who preach and teach in the name of jesus who build huge churches and ministries in the name of jesus who claim to have relationship with him but in reality they are different there are many who say lot lot and their religion ends there they have a form of godliness and are satisfied with the shell of religion they desire to do things that will be most seen and prefer to minister in those places that brings them great honors jesus sends them away not with commendation for their good works done in his name but by disowning their every deed and word saying that he would never know them there are times when god in his sovereign will and for his purposes will empower even non believers to perform miraculous deeds the spectacular deeds in ministry do not always certify the life approved by god we need to be more vigilant from being deceived true believers are like the good trees that produce good fruit like the true sheep that look to christ depending on him believing in him and following him doing the will of god would mean seeking the will of god and simultaneously making conscious efforts to fulfill the will of god in every part and aspects of our life we have to turn from considering religion as something for quieting our conscience to a practical influence that affect our lives and conduct daily Let us pray. 
our father in heaven thank you for the reminder to practice what we believe and profess may you enable us to understand and do your will in our lives amen thank you for listening god bless you